Do 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 do. A request by Al T L five K U H I J one J. I don't know how to pronounce that. Do you forgive me? Angelina Jordan, seventeen years old, recognized. Oh, hang on. She's not seventeen anymore because someone told me a month ago that she's. 18 now and I said sorry I can't make a video about that because I'm away from my computer I didn't know I'd be away from my computer for a whole month so I was sabotaged and that's why I haven't recorded in a month sadly always when you get on the road you get sabotaged I, I think her birthday was actually not an entire month ago. It was like three weeks or two weeks ago. So, well, it's a bit late for a happy birthday now. But, oh well. That's uh, sad. Guess how many years older I am. Guess, just guess, just guess. I'm not going to tell you, but Angelina Jordan, 18 years old. Recognised and admired by world-class musicians and composers, many Grammys among them. Alan Walker, Chuck Berghofer, oh no, not names again. Greg Field, Shelley Berg, Jimmy Z. Zavala, Diane Warren, Rob, I don't know any of these people. Rob Christie, David Foster, Gene Simmons, I've heard that name. Brian May, he's from Queen. Roger Taylor, I think he's also from Queen. Quincy Jones, he's a producer. Nora Jones, no idea. Mark Ronson, producer. Jonathan Moffat, he's a drummer. Nico Cartosio, no idea. All of the above mentioned, without exception, consider her the best vocalist they've worked with, or the best of all time. I bet they say that about everyone. Her record label is currently the largest and most prestigious Republic Record Universal Music. Hmm. Then why is she not bigger? It seems that everyone knows her except... Except normal people at home. She's not... She's certainly not a household name where I am. So, it seems like everyone... She has all the connections, all the praise by these giants in music, but... Ordinary people are, well, apart from on YouTube, but are your parents on YouTube? Are your grandparents on YouTube? Angelina Jordan is her top priority artist. Ariana Grande, Anita. Who's Anita? Taylor Swift, Weekend, etc. I think Anita might have been on, um, was she friends with Simon Cowell? I, I remember an Anita on one of those talent shows. A judge. Her seven new songs are co-written by Angelina Jordan, including her latest extraordinary single, Our Time. Finally, we get to it. Our Time. For a radio and television advertisement in the United States, SoFi Loans for Women. No idea what that's about. A young woman who God gave his unimaginable talent, Mexico. I'm guessing you're from Mexico. That's why you ended the sentence. Randomly with Mexico. Um, yeah. So. I might give our time a listen sometime, I said. So here we are. Very short song. Only two minutes and a half long. Three months ago. Only 85,000 views. This doesn't sound like a priority artist by Universal Music Group. Here we go. Very jolly sounding. Surprising. Take me or leave this IMB all apologetically. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm feeling fine, I don't be all my. There's no better place to be. I think it's cool to get a smile. I'm 
surprised how jovial this sounds. <laughs> how carnival-esque it sounds. Because it's not really the sound I used to associate with her. Th these polka dots, well I'm calling them polka dots. Maybe they are, but there used to be a, a program called... I used to watch, and I don't even remember what it was called, polka dot something. I don't even remember, I can't even visualise what it looked like, but... Yeah, that's what it's reminding me of. This feels like it could be a hit song. And yet, it doesn't even have 100k views. That's the song it reminds me of. All about that bass. All about that bass. It reminds me of that that same kind of vibe. Also gives me Jesse J vibes, vocally. And I guess the fun of the song. Early Jesse J. People are going to hate me for saying this, but I guess, what's the word they say? Intrusive thought? No, it's not intrusive thought. It's, um, no, it's not Tourette's either. But I have to say, no, they do say intrusive thoughts win. So I have to say that all I have here is one picture. So I'm looking at the screen and I'm thinking of Bugs Bunny. Because of, um... Teeth. I can only see two teeth and it reminds me of Bugs Bunny. And she has much better teeth than I probably ever will. Don't look at my teeth because it will ruin the illusion of um, the entire reaction. This also bugs me how there's this, all this white space on the right of this picture. Why is this so small? Our time. It should be fill it out or put a picture there or something. Put a picture there. And, um, yeah. And I have another thought. I have to say it. Because I thought of Bugs Bunny, and then I looked at this hand, and I thought, this hand should be holding a carrot. I'm sorry. I had to say it. Now everyone's going to dislike, but I had to say it. Because these are my thoughts as I'm listening and watching, and, um, yeah. But I like the song. I do like the song. It's, um, what's the word? Bouncy and... I use that word a lot, bouncy. Because I'm not good at anything, even describing stuff. I can't think of words. I'm not good with words. Which is ironic. Um, but it's fun. Definitely fun. I don't understand why she's the priority artist and she only has 85,000 views. I thought this was going to be like a... When this was suggested, I thought it was going to be like a, an, a music video. And then I was kind of surprised it was just a picture. And then I was surprised it's only two and a half minutes. And then I was surprised it only had 85,000 views. So, just... You don't want to miss it.
why is it over so quickly? Why is it over? Although it was quite a fast song. It was quite fast, so maybe maybe that's why they shortened it because it does feel like a, a, you know, like a bit of a rush going through that song. So it's a minute shorter than a standard song. Um yeah, I think that's definitely a song you could re-listen to because um why are comments turned off? Now I'm disappointed about that. So many disappointments. The music was not disappointing except the length, I guess. I'm disappointed there's no music video. I'm disappointed there's no comments. Comments are vital to YouTube. They're vital to any social media. How dare you strip us of our rights and our dreams. Love Don't Let Me Go. I've not heard that, I think. So I was confused about the whole backstory about this song. To be honest, a little confused. Something about, what did she say? What did she say? Uh, it was... An extraordinary single, which doesn't have a music video, for a radio and television advertisement. It's for an adv... It kind of does feel like an advertisement video song, I mean. SoFi L Loans for Women. So they only give loans for women, this, this company, SoFi. That's strange. I've never heard of a company only giving loans for women. A young woman who God gave his un unimaginable talent. I presume that's referring to Angelina. And not one of the women who need a loan from SoFi. Uh, seven new songs. So I guess I got six other ones to get through. Let's take a look at her channel. Um... I always get uh, nervous when I come onto the um, channel pages because I don't really want anyone looking at the side here, seeing what my subscriptions are. <laughs> 60 Minutes, Dr. Eric Berg, Aperture, I don't even know what that is, Chess.com, Sky News, Talk TV, Live Now from Fox, there I told you, and 994 more, so... I, I, I subscribe to things really easily and I like things really easily. Like I have a trigger finger, so it doesn't take much for me to subscribe to something or someone. It really doesn't. Like I could go into a reaction channel and only watch that one video and I'll subscribe and then never watch the channel again, possibly. Uh, well, that's how reaction videos are unless you're only on this video because it's Angelina Jordan and if they never do an artist that I went to the channel for. I might not ever watch them again, but I I don't think I ever unsubscribe from channels. That's why I have nine hundred ninety four. I'm actually surprised it's that that short, to be honest. Uh, but I have like five thousand videos liked in my like playlist thing. Love don't let me go. All my fault. Good in goodbyes. Diamond. Now I'm the fool. That's what many of you thought when I was talking about Bugs Bunny and the carrot. Because you thought I should only be here to to judge the music. Only the music. Which would be ideal, but, you know, I have eyes as well. For now. Maybe when I go old and blind or get some degenerative disease, I won't be able to make such comments anymore. Now I'm the fool again. Fire and rain. Love don't let me go again. Um, I have nothing. I have nothing. I think I did react to a, a younger version of her react singing. I have nothing. Suspicious minds. Mercy. Seventh heaven. I reacted to seventh heaven. There's not that many videos on her channel in the last two years, to be honest. I think I reacted to both of these. Uh, official lyric video. I think I reacted to that. Another official... Uh, okay, I don't think I reacted to all of these. 
That's strange. Yeah, so I guess it's these most recent ones here I need to catch up on. Let me know your thoughts below. Great singer, great tone, and a fun song. For some reason I wasn't expecting a fun song. Because her, her tone of voice does match well for kind of dreary sort of songs, to be honest. It works well with her dreary kind of voice. Yeah. Amazing praise I'm expecting in the comments. I always see her fans give amazing support for Angelina. And they've been with her for many years online. But at least a decade, I think. How old is she? 18. Yeah, I think she was performing 8 for sure. I think I saw someone say she performed around 8. At the um, Nobel Peace Prize Awards. Um, let me know what song that was. This this font right here reminds me of the um, Narnia movies. The red and the yellow. Wow. Great. This is her new theme. Old enough? What's she old enough for? Is this because she just turned 18? Is that a name of her song, Old Enough, or is it a name of an album? I don't see anything here called Old Enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. No? Yeah? Yeah. Let me know your thoughts below, and um, congrats on making it to 18 without dying, I suppose. Bye!